This Week at NASA. The STS-126 crew continues to prepare for its November mission aboard Space Shuttle Endeavour. Commanded by Chris Ferguson, Endeavour will deliver equipment to the International Space Station that will enable larger crews to reside aboard the complex. The crew also will deliver astronaut Sandy Magnus, shown here on STS-112 in 2002, to the station. Magnus will serve as an Expedition 18 flight engineer and NASA science officer. One of my responsibilities and goals is to equip the station for habitation by six people, so I'll get to work on sort of assembling the station as it were. And as science officer, I'm also going to play a big part in uh, conducting science experiments and, and taking care of some of our payloads, so I get to actually split my time between the assembly and the utilization parts of the station, so I'm pretty excited about that. Magnus will replace Expedition 1718 flight engineer Greg Shamatov, who will return to Earth with the STS-126 crew. PNAC's first woman engineer of the year, Dr. Ellen Ochoa. Ellen Ochoa, the first Hispanic woman in space, was honored at the Hispanic Engineer National Achievement Awards Conference as the 2008 Hispanic Engineer of the Year. Each year, HENAC honors the contributions of outstanding Hispanic American science and technology professionals from industry, government, education, and the military. This is Mission Specialist Ellen Ochoa. Ochoa first flew in space in 1993 aboard Space Shuttle Discovery on STS-56, a nine-day science mission to study the effects of solar activity on the Earth's climate and environment. She flew three more shuttle missions to log a total of more than 978 hours in space. Ochoa currently serves as Deputy Director of the Johnson Space Center. John Giorgini, an engineer at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, has received the prestigious Harold Mazursky Award from the American Astronomical Society's Division for Planetary Sciences. Giorgini runs JPL's Horizon System, an online database able to generate locations and orbits for the almost half million known celestial bodies in our solar system. Since its inception in October 1996, the Horizon System has filled more than 10 million requests from the world's scientific community. The Harold Mazursky Award, named for the father of Martian geology, recognizes individuals for outstanding service to planetary science and exploration. A wall-breaking ceremony at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum's Udbar Hazi Center launched construction of the second and final wing of the complex in Chantilly, Virginia. Phase two will highlight the behind-the-scenes care of the Smithsonian's extraordinary collection of aircraft, spacecraft, artifacts, and archival materials. NASA mission artifacts are among the 60,000 pieces in the Udvar Hazi collection, the largest and most significant of its kind in the world. When phase two is completed in 2011, visitors will have a first-hand look at the process of restoring aircraft and spacecraft. The works of five contemporary artists who use data and discoveries from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope are on display at Pasadena, California's Art Center College of Design. The show, named Observe, explores what it means to watch and examine our universe. The exhibits are the result of a year-long collaboration between the Art Center and the Spitzer Science Center at Caltech. Three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of Atlantis and the Galileo spacecraft bound for Jupiter. 19 years ago in NASA history, Space Shuttle Atlantis and its five-member crew lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center, carrying the Jupiter-bound Galileo spacecraft. The spacecraft is stable. Galileo is on its way to another world. It's in the hands of the best flight controllers in this world. Fly safe. Galileo achieved many firsts, including the flyby of an asteroid and discovery of an asteroid's moon. It made the only direct observations of a comet colliding with a planet. Galileo found evidence of subsurface salt water on Jupiter's moons Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, and revealed the intensity of volcanic activity on Io. The mission ended when Galileo was deliberately plunged into Jupiter's atmosphere on September 21, 2003. And that's This Week at NASA. To learn more about these and other stories, log on to www.nasa.gov.